In this tutorial, we're going to check out how to create a child theme in WordPress. The reason for doing that is if we have an existing theme in our WordPress uh, installation that we want to customize, uh, there's a risk that any customization we do might get lost if the theme designer ever decides to update the theme. Um, any changes you make might get overwritten and you might end up losing your work and your theme might end up breaking in a way that you might not like. Uh, one way around that and to reduce the amount of work required to customizing themes is to create a child theme. And child themes are connected to the original theme that, you're, uh, that you may have installed already uh, with the advantage of you can assign certain overrides. So you can create a different CSS file for different styling. You can uh, modify the header area of your page uh, without putting the original theme at risk. Uh, to go about doing something like that, it's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, first thing we want to do is ensure we're connected with everything we need to get things going. For example, make sure you're logged into your dashboard here in your WordPress installation. And in Dreamweaver, which we're going to be using for this exercise, make sure that you're connected to your WordPress installation by FTP because we will be doing some file management. Uh, let's proceed with the next step. Uh, first thing you want to do is activate the theme that you want to customize. To do that, go to Appearance, Themes, and for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to make sure the 2012 theme is the active one that we're going to be modifying. We'll see a list of other themes that are available to us. When we finish this process, we should see our child theme available here as well. So once it's uh, active, you can double check by clicking the link here and seeing what that theme looks like in action. The next thing we want to do is switch over to Dreamweaver or your editor of choice. In this case, we'll need to FTP some files over from the server to our local computer. The reason why is because we don't currently have the installed theme on our local machine for editing. So we're gonna go retrieve it from the remote server. We're gonna to browse to the themes directory of our WordPress installation and look for 2012, which is our currently active theme and the theme we wanna customize. We want to download the entire folder. It shouldn't take too long. Just right click and get those files to make sure they transfer to your local computer. There it is. Um, let's switch to local view again. And now we see that folder listed in our directories. Uh, the next thing we want to do is create that connection between the theme, the original theme we're using, and the child theme that we want to create. Uh, the next step is to right click in your themes folder, create a new folder, and give it a name that makes sense. In this case, 2012-child. Now it's very important that you remember this folder name. We're going to be using it uh, shortly to create the connection. Uh, once that folder is created, there's really only one file that's mandatory in this folder, and it's called style.css. And we can right click to create a new file in that folder, and we'll call that style.css. Make sure it's named properly. Frequently, we have a tendency of putting styles.css, WordPress won't recognize that. Now once we have this file and we double click to open it, we'll just see a nice blank empty CSS document. What we need to do to this document is assign a few lines of code that will tell WordPress that this is a child theme that's connected to 2012. To do that, uh, we can browse to uh, wordpress.org and in their codex, for child themes, they have the code that we need to get things going. Um, let's 
select it from here and copy return to Dreamweaver and paste it in. Now this is pretty standard across all child themes. Uh, there are a few lines in this code that are extremely important, others that are less important. Um, once again to make sure you're able to find this you can just you know do a Google search for child themes WordPress codex and it should bring you to this page over here. Uh, otherwise the URL is codex.wordpress.org slash child underscore themes. Now let's take a quick uh, a closer look at this file that we've just uh, added the uh, text to. Uh, the theme name, that's going to be the new theme name as it's listed in our WordPress uh, theme list so what you want it to look like in this area over here that's the name you put over there and we're gonna call this the 2012 child theme URI in this uh, particular example is uh, not really important the description 2012 child theme uh, the author just put your name in there author URI again not necessary if you have a link to a website and you're a professional theme developer this is useful this is where it gets important this line over here template this is the theme that we're originally basing this child theme on so it's very important that this is exactly the name of the folder of the theme that we're making a child theme of so in this case it's 2012 I want to make sure that it's exactly the same uh, an easy way of doing that is you can just click here once copy paste that way you're sure not to make any typographical errors uh, the version again that's up to you to decide tags are what WordPress uses to bring up search results if people are looking for themes in this case uh, not really necessary and the text domain here's another one that's very important we want to make sure that the text domain matches the folder name that we have created for our child theme so again uh, to avoid error you can right click copy that folder name and paste it in there we go to avoid any uh, mistyping or uh, mistakes uh, what happens here with this line um, is that it's going to import the existing style.css from the 2012 theme and the reason for doing that is this theme has dozens of already created classes and there are IDs and there's all sorts of styling and formatting. You don't want to have to create everything over from scratch and, and start identifying all your CSS. So with this line what you're doing is you're importing the existing 2012 style.css which looks like this as I bring it open here uh, you can see that you know everything has already been defined they have specific classes to this theme it's it's uh, pretty full and you don't want to have to redo every single thing here uh, if you remove this line what will happen is your child theme will have no styling whatsoever and it's just gonna look like a plain vanilla website now where it gets interesting is under this dashed line over here which allows you now to override any existing styles from the original template. Uh, so once again make sure you have this line pointing to your original theme. This line should be pointing to the folder name of your child theme and the import URL should be pointing to the folder of the original theme as well. Uh, 
Now down here, you, you can start overriding. For example, uh, let's say you want to have a custom article attachment type or class in this case. You can just copy this over here, paste it in here, and now you're free to assign whatever additional um, CSS styling you prefer for that particular item. Now, how do you identify these items in your theme? Let's finish up here and we'll get to that shortly. Next thing you want to do, we'll delete that, not necessary, is save this file. This is the bare minimum you need to create the child theme and the connection with WordPress. So proceed to save your work. That's all we need to do there um, for now. And the next thing we need to do is upload this new child theme that we've created to our WordPress directory. Uh, with Dreamweaver it should find its place. Just click put. And that was quick. Next we want to go back to WordPress. And if we refresh our theme list, we should now see the 2012 child theme now available. Um, if we look on their remote site, there's our folder right there. And the minute you add that folder into your themes directory, WordPress will recognize it. If there's an error and it doesn't show up, usually down here at the bottom it will indicate that uh, there's a problem with your theme and basically double check these three lines that I indicated earlier make sure everything is correct beyond that uh, it should be pretty straightforward the reason we're not seeing a preview over here is because we haven't provided the default preview image that WordPress loads up called screenshot.png uh, what you can do is after you finish customizing your your theme, the 2012 child, you can do a little screenshot on your desktop and save it in there and then you'll get the preview. The last step in this uh, scenario is activating by clicking the uh, button here and making the 2012 child theme your active theme on the site. Now if you visit the page it looks identical to 2012, the original one. Um, the thing is, if you start making changes in the CSS, it will you will start seeing the changes appear in this theme as well in WordPress. Uh, a quick way of identifying which elements you want to modify in your CSS file is by using some developer tools in your browser uh, a more in-depth video will follow this one, but here's a sneak preview. You can uh, use something called Firebug. It's a little plugin that works in your browser that allows you to identify certain elements. So if we want to identify, for example, this element over here, and we want to change the style, we can see that it's an H1 class site title. And here we could even see some of the styling that's applied to it. What's great about this is you can now make changes directly in your browser. So if you want to change this to red instead of the existing color, we can see what that looks like in real time on our page without having to even uh, do much coding on our CSS yet. And once we're happy with that, then we can start grabbing this code and assigning it um, to our CSS. So in this case we can grab this class over here, <clears throat> go back to our CSS, paste it in, and assign a uh, color of red. We already know that's the color we want. So you can save your work. We can upload to the server. And now if we refresh our page, we'll notice that this element now has the red applied to it. Um, 
this is how we know in a very in a very quick test that our theme our child theme is working as it should uh, you can continue identifying other elements and changing the CSS but what child themes are also good for it allows you to modify structural uh, elements as well so if you want to change the entire header all you need to do is basically open up the header.php file make a copy of it and just include it in your child theme as header.php and go nuts make all the changes you want and that header PHP now overrides the existing theme hopefully this provides you with some insight on how child themes work and how powerful they can be uh, to make real easy and quick customization to existing themes without having to recreate everything from scratch. Uh, tune in for the next video which goes into more in-depth uh, with the developer tools and how to efficiently use them to customize existing themes and build your CSS and, and uh, make the modifications there. Thanks for tuning in.